The Samsung Galaxy S22 is coming soon and there are a lot of rumors. Let's talk about the most interesting ones. First up, John Prosser over at Front Page Tech published pictures of what he says are the first real life photos of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Are these the real deal? Maybe. Prosser nailed what the Pixel 6 would look like, but has a bit of a mixed track record when it comes to leaks. Let's examine the pics. Let's start at the front and put up the S21 Ultra on the right to compare. For this video, we'll call the device in the front page tech pics the S22 Ultra. The S22 Ultra is much more squared off on the corners than the S21 Ultra. It seriously resembles the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I've said Ultra a thousand times. Let's do a side-by-side -side of the S22 Ultra and the Note 20. Yeah, very, very similar. If this is the S22 Ultra, it would mark a departure in design from the S series, which has featured much more rounded corners in the past. Possibly confirming the squared look of the S22 Ultra is this tweet by Ice Universe. The tweet reads, comparison of screen size and R angle of S22, S22 Plus, S22 Ultra. If this image is real, the S22 and S22 Plus would have the more traditional S series styling of rounded corners. The S22 Ultra would look like the Note. Ice Universe has an excellent track record when it comes to this kind of stuff. Another picture shows an S Pen being removed from the left side of the S22 Ultra. That's exactly where the Galaxy Note 20 places the pen. This would be the first time the S series would house an S Pen. The S21 Ultra does support the S Pen, but requires you to find a place to stick it. I heard it too. Anyway, I have not seen any reports about whether the S22 and or S22 Plus will have S Pen support. Let's look at the back. This is a big change from the S21 Ultra. Instead of having a housing that surrounds all of the lenses, there are five raised circular housings. I've heard some people say it looks like the letter P. I can kind of see that. It also reminds me of the LG Velvet with its raindrop camera array. As for specs on these cameras, I've seen conflicting reports on that, so let's move on. Let's talk about pricing. Over on Twitter, Galax said this about the S22 line. $799, $999, $1199. Maybe a $50 increase on base and plus at maximum, bigger model could see up to a $100 increase. Keep in mind, Plus and Ultra are expected to have 256 gigabytes of base storage. So that's something. Either the phones will cost the same as the S21 series did, or it'll be $50 more expensive with the S22 Ultra starting at $1299. The S21 series storage started off with 128 gigs, by the way. Moving up to 256 as a base sounds pretty nice. How reliable is this report? We'll have to see when the S22 launches. Speaking of launches, John Prosser tweeted that pre-orders will start on February 8th, 2022, with launch on February 18th. But wait, there's more. There's a report from Let's Go Digital that says that all Samsung Galaxy S22 devices will be powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon chips. In the past, you could get Samsung phones with either a Qualcomm chip inside or Samsung's own Exynos system on a chip, depending on what region of the world you're in. Let's Go Digital Source is a former Samsung employee known as Super Rotor. The site said it was unable to verify this information. Oh, and for what it's worth, Super Rotor also says Samsung will hold an event on February 8th. That lines up with what John Prosser said. So what do you think of this? It looks like the S22 Ultra will basically be the Galaxy Note with a new name. Reports about merging the lines have been around for a while. In 2018, the Bell reported that Samsung had looked into the unification of the two lines since they shared a lot of the same features. Considering all the supply chain issues happening in the world, this seems like the right time to join the two. Let us know your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Share this video with everybody you've ever met in your whole life. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.